Hi all, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about put away rules in Odoo 16. Put away is a process of taking the products directly after the shipment. And what we do is allocate them to a particular storage location. Now there might be some products when both of like two different products when they are kept together, uh, some sort of chemical reactions and all occur. In such cases, we have to make sure that they are uh, stored in separate locations and all, right? So in such cases, we need the help of put away rules. So let's see how to configure this put away rules and what are the methods uh, we can implement by using the uh, put away rules in Odoo 16. Let's get started. Now let's see how to implement put away rules inside the inventory module. For that, let's open the inventory first. And the first thing which we have to do is go to the configuration settings and make sure that certain things are enabled. So let's open the configuration here. Open the settings. Now inside the configuration settings, just scroll down and here you can see the section which is warehouse. Now inside this warehouse section, we have storage location, multi-step routes and storage categories. So we have to make sure that the storage location and multi-step routes are enabled. Okay. So we've enabled all these three. Okay. So only if you enable this, you can see this under the configuration menu. Okay. So I'm opening the configuration and opening the put away rules. So here is the place where you create the rules. I'm creating one, create, clicking on create and putting the, that is when product arrives in Cybro stock. So I have to mention which product also. So I'm putting juices. Okay. And this is the sub location to which I have to store this product. That is when product arrives to Cybro stock, it has to be moved to some other location. So that location, that is the sub location has to be chosen here. So I'm choosing the Cybro stock B. Okay. And I'm just saving it. It's saved. Okay. Now let's go to the purchase module and create a purchase order for that product. So I'm clicking on create and choosing the vendor and here I'm giving the product. That is the product for which we created the put away rules. So I'm choosing juices here and you can give any quantity. I'm just giving five. Okay. That's enough. Now what we have to do is confirm the order. Now after confirming, receive product. Okay. And validate it. Apply. Okay. So the validation and all is done. This is the receipt in front of you. Okay. So here you can see a tab called the detailed operation. Okay. In most of the cases or most probably you won't be able to see that tab. Now for you all to view that tab, what you have to do is go back to the inventory. Okay. Now here you have receipts in the overview. Okay. So click on the three dots there. You have the configuration. Now inside the configuration, you have two check boxes which are already checked. So here you have show detailed operations and also pre-fill detailed operations. So only if you enable these two options, you will be able to see that detailed operations tab inside the receipt. Okay. So this is enabled. Let's go back. Now before going back, we have to check the moves. So here under the reporting, we have the moves history. Now, if you just take a look at the moves history, you can see juices is being moved to Cybro stock B. Okay. Now let's go back to the purchase order. Now inside the purchase order, let's open the receipt. Now here you can see under detailed operation, you have the location to which this product is being moved, which is Cybro stock B. So now we've applied a rule and that rule have worked properly right so the next thing which we have to do is that in most of the cases this doesn't work that is in certain cases uh, the put away rules become more and more complex okay they might be products which has to be moved time by time and all okay now uh, in such cases let's see how this will work for that we need to enable certain other options as well now for that let's go back to the inventory and here we have the configuration settings. Now inside the settings, let's just scroll down. And here you can see storage category. 
So you have to enable the storage category for this method. Okay, so only then you will get that menu under the configuration and we are going to do certain things inside the storage category. So here under configuration, I have my storage categories. Okay, so I've already created or configured a storage category, which is called the freezer. So I'm planning to add some products or create a category called the freezer where I can store all the products which has to be stored under cold temperature. Okay, so I've given the name as freezer and for this category, I'm setting a maximum weight. Okay, so the maximum weight I've set for this is 25. You can set anything. Now here you have two different tabs, which is cap capacity by package or capacity by product. You can set the capacity based on products or packages. Okay, so uh, here also you won't be able to see this capacity by package in certain cases. Uh, it's nothing but you have to go to the configuration. Okay, go to the configuration settings. And there you have this packages and as well as the product packaging. So you have to enable this and only then you can see that tab. Let's go back to the storage category. And open the freezer. Okay. So I've set the two products already here. Okay. Juices of 20 quantity and popsicle 10 quantities. Now you might be thinking how this quantities and the weight are connected, right? Let's just open the internal link of the product. So I'm opening the internal link of juices. And if you go under inventory, you can see the weight. So I've set the weight of one, that is juices, one quantity as one kg. So 20 quantities means 20 kg. Now let's go back. So 20 kg is done here. Now we have five more, right? So for popsicles, you just open the internal link of popsicles. You can see under inventory, the weight is set to 0 0.50 kg. Okay, let's go back. So 10 uh, quantity of 50 kg means it becomes 25 altogether, right? So this is how I configure the weight. So you have to make sure that the weight is also set for the products which you are adding under capacity by product. Okay, so that's done. Now what we have to do is for this popsicle, I'm going to add a what put away rule. Okay. Now before that, we have to create sub locations for this category. Now if you just click on locations here, you can see the locations cooler one and cooler two. So I pre-configured it. Okay. So it's nothing but I've uh, added two locations under Cybro stock and also mention the storage category for those locations. So for Kola 1, I've given the storage category as freezer and also for Kola 2, I've given the category as freezer. So uh, these are the locations which comes under the storage category freezer. Let's go back and configure a uh, put away rule for the popsicle. Now going to configuration, clicking on put away rules, create. So once the product arrives at Cybro stock, so mentioning the product, which is popsicles, what have to happen? I'm not changing the sub location. So I'm putting the sub location as Cybro stock itself. One thing extra I'm going to do is add the storage location here. Okay. So what happens is that once the product enters Cybro stock, okay. So I've added sub locations inside the Cybro stock. So based on the quantity and all, what happens is that it will be shared into any of the sub locations. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how it's done. For that, let's go to the, now that the put away rule is configured, we have to go to the purchase module and create an RFQ. So I'm adding the vendor as your adding the product, which is popsicle. Okay, popsicles. Now here I'm changing the quantity to 10. Okay, so I'm changing it to 10. Confirming the order. Okay, so it's confirmed. Receiving the products and validating it and all. That process I'm completing it. Now here you can see. Okay, under the detailed operation you can see it has been. Or I didn't mention any uh, sub location and all right. I just gave Cybro stock. Once it reaches Cybro stock, it has to go to Cybro stock itself, which has the category 
freezer so there are two location which has the category freezer right so here you can see the two section that is where this product is going you have to you have the option here which is cyber stock cooler one so this product is going to cooler one okay so 10 quantity of popsicle i mentioned 10 quantity of uh, popsicle there already so it will be going to cooler one okay next what we have is go back to inventory okay going to the configuration opening the storage categories now opening the freezer now let's see capacity by package so inside capacity by package you have like i have already configured a thing which is called the box okay so i have uh, said before that we have to enable packages and product packaging okay so this is like i'm not adding individual products so i'm adding a pack of products like if it, it might be a pack of five a box of five and all so under capacity by product i'm adding a line and i'm adding ice cream okay so here i'm giving the quantity as 10 and changing the weight to 35 okay so here also i've mentioned the weight of the product so i've given the weight of the product as 1 kg that is ice cream one quantity one kg okay now what we have to do is here in the box we have like i've given the packaging type as box and quantity as five okay so what you have to do is go to the internal link of ice cream okay and here under the inventory we have just scroll it down you can see the section called packaging so here you have to add the product which is ice cream I mean not the product sorry you have to add the name of the packaging so you can add anything so I'm giving it as pack of five and the packaging type it can either be box pellet and all so I'm giving it as box and contains how much quantity I'm giving five quantity then I'm enabling the sales purchase and all and now let's save it okay so for this pack of five we have what five quantity of ice cream inside it okay so that's done what we have to do is go back to freezer okay configure a put away roll for ice cream so i'm choosing cybro stock and here i'm setting ice cream okay here also i'm putting the uh, you know cybro stock itself category i'm giving it as freezer and also mentioning the package type which is box okay that's saved now what we have to do is go to purchase okay create an rfq let's choose the vendor from here so i'm adding as your interior and adding the product ice cream for which i have created the put away rules right now so i'm choosing the product from here and here you can see packaging uh, and the packaging quantity and all so i'll choose the package which i created right now so that was a pack of five okay so here you can see a warning message that is nothing but this product is packaged by five units so if you're buying based on packaging you have to buy how much quantity is there in that box or that package okay so i'm clicking on ok and here i'm setting the quantity as two okay so i'll buy two pack of five which means 10 quantity so here you can see the quantity have changed automatically now let's confirm the order so i'm confirming it and let's receive the product okay so the product is received now let's validate it apply so here you can see uh, it has gone to cooler one itself okay so we've given a limit which was two okay so now it's in cooler one itself now let's see what happens if the limit is exceeded okay so for that i'm going to the i mean inside the purchase order itself purchase module itself create a new rfq choose the vendor and also add a product so I'll add the same product which is ice cream and I'll buy one more pack. 
so I'm buying pack of five okay so you can see I'm adding one okay the quantity have changed to five I'm buying one pack which includes five quantity of the product okay so now let's confirm it and complete the pro procedure of this purchase so receiving the product and validating it so here you can already see right now this box has that's the box which we purchased right now has gone to cooler too so why did this happen it happened because the limit has been exceeded right now so we have set a limit right we have set a weight for this you know storage category and all so once the cooler one is filled and once the limit is exceeded it will go to the other sub location which we created for that what for that uh, storage category okay so this these are the methods through which we can create the put away rules implement it based on storage categories locations and all that's all see you in the next video thank you